A simple one, guys. Let's talk about um, the SEO settings for Webly site. This is um, the search engine optimization tips every beginner must know. First of all, we have to look at um, finding the SEO settings on the Webly site. To do so, log into your Webly account. Then the top of the navigation bar, click on settings. Now, once settings start is open, go to SEO. Now, once you're on the SEO page, you're gonna see search meta keywords and then footer code and header code. Let's look at them what these options are. There are a variety of SEO fields on this page. Each one plays a role in your site's SEO. Site description. This is a brief description of your site that will appear in search engine's results. This description is limited to 250 characters. People will use this as a tool to decide whether or not to visit your site. However, most people won't read long chunks of text, so try to sum up your website in a sentence or two. Example: This is an example of um, the site description. This is a site in bear.com. Now, they highlighted um, text in the description. So once you are um, put your description on that tab, and go to google.com and then type whatever you want to type. Once your, site, once your site shows up, this is how you should appear. Now we'll move over to the second option, that is the uh, meta keywords. Meta keywords are words and phrases that allow search engines to the content of your web page. Meta keywords are stored in the website HTML and are invisible to visitors. So these are meta. This um, second option is the um, provision for meta keywords. So you should write the keywords, the major keywords of your site, separated by a comma. For example, if your site is based on, um, let's say, um, phone reviews, where you you review mostly Samsung, iPhone. Our iPhones or Nokia phones. Now, what you're gonna put here is um, Samsung, Nokia, Hawaii reviews. As with each word separated by a comma. So these are the main, your major keywords, the keywords you wanna focus with on your site. That is where your meta keywords come in. So usually when a person enters a search into a search engine, the search engine will run through many factors in order to run the website by elements. Meta keywords are one of those factors. If we put together meta keywords for this page, it will look something like this. This is an example of meta keywords. SEO, Webly, and the walkthrough. Each one of them is separated by a comma. Keywords or phrases are separate by commas. Not the commas, meta keywords will not work. Then the search engine will view the words as a large phrase, not separate components. Search engines consider many ranking factors besides meta keywords. The not about ranking factors. This is um, an external article you can check if you want to. You can see the um, direct link at the video description below. Uh, below. This is what you have to pay attention. We do not want to abuse these meta keywords. Yes, these keywords are a very strong SEO factor in Webly. They can help your site rank on the first page of Google, but we do not want to abuse it. We, If we do abuse it, it might result in Google penalizing our site or any other search engine. So we just have to um, use it minimal. We suggest you use like an maximum of six seven keywords to describe
describe your site. Now another option is the footer code. What is the footer code? This is written in the box. If you add it to the code, not the footer page. So whatever is written in the footer code will not be shown on your web page unless you specifically program it to do so. It's only visible on HTML document. So um, these footer codes are used to add things functionalities to your site. For example, you want to track the website, how many visits you are getting on your web site. You head over to um, something like Google Analytics or Stats Contact. Copy the code. This is where you are going. You're gonna paste it. Now, this code won't be visible to your visitors, but it will um, track the, how many visits you get. So we also have another option which is the header code. This header code is also um, basically does what uh, footer code does, but this time around it's, it's, it appears on your head, not downwards, on the um, top of the your site. For example, you can um, add something like the uh, add part uh, on, on the header code box. Maybe you have um add code that is in HTML you can add it. So you can also um add other things. Yeah. Now another option is um hide from search engine. So if you do not want your site to be displayed on search engine, you can toggle that option. Hide from search engine. So, um, these are basically what you need to do to SEO your Weebly site. Again, uh, one, two, three, four, five main options site description, meta keywords, footer code, header code, and hide from search engines. But if you want to SEO your site, you don't need to hide from uh, search engines, so you don't need to check. That option just leave it like that.